Okay, this house is beautiful. It comes with everything already. All of the the ACs, both the ducted ones, the the uh, split type ones, the generator, etc., the chiller, the sink, the stoves, multiple stoves, your um, oven, etc., refrigerator, and your furniture. So everything is well laid out and well picked to go with this gorgeous architecture. have a brand new premium house and lot for sale and it's here in Ayala Alabang village but first make sure you hit like click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever you release new YouTube videos we're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscello underscore official my name is Julia and welcome to another Priscello open house Tour. So as you can see from the road, this is going to be your facade and interestingly your driveway as well as the rest of the front of your house is sloped. So it's easy for your guests to park in front of your house if need be. But spoiler alert, you do have a nine vehicle carport waiting for you. Okay, so the entire left side of the facade is just foliage. Is, is basil. I'm sorry, this is basil, apparently. But you do have a, you have gorgeous landscaping throughout the entire house. But yeah, you have a wall of green on the left side. And then here on the right, you can see a portion of your actual um, house. And then here you have a single vehicle car port. And then over there, which is open, we have a gate leading down to the driveway and to the basement where the rest of your car ports are. And then over here, we have a receiving area. Okay, so disclaimer, this house is about 95% done. So there's a lot of construction materials going on and not everything else, and not everything is completely finished, but you will be able to appreciate the beauty of this modern, modern and gorgeous home. So here welcoming you is a koi pond, <laughs> currently empty um, as of making this video. However, this house is due to completion by the end of August. And by the way, you have spotlights up there. So you could direct those lights to shine on the koi pond or if you have some art um, installations over there that you might want to place, it's going to look really nice at night. Okay, so in here you have your main entrance and wow, what a main entrance. You have half a ton of pure nara for your main door and just a solid wooden door, beautifully crafted and beautifully um, smoothed out. Like the edges are so smooth. It's, it's super nice to the touch. So when you open this easily, mind you, because you have um, pivot hinges for the hinge. So when you open it, this is what will welcome you. And at first glance, all you're gonna see is glass, right? 
And it's both amazing and you have to wonder at the same time, is it gonna be hot? No, it's not. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you why later on. Okay, so in here you have your living area. So you can really appreciate the landscaping around your home. Lots of greenery, lots of foliage. Moving around, you can see your 14 meter swimming pool. And then you can see all of the textures in here. So these, you are gonna see these throughout the, throughout the house. And these are five inch thick, unpolished granite stones. That's right, it's, it's very thick. I would imagine five inches, it's about, it's about this thick per slab. So all of these were imported and then built here. And just the fact that it's unpolished, I mean, look at this texture, it's gorgeous. Then at night, because of the cold lighting, it's going to emphasize the texture that you have here. And I love that it's in different parts of the house. And then speaking of the ceiling, so underneath these, you have your air conditioning unit. So I love that it's already embedded in there. It's under the, underneath the, uh, or above rather, the wooden slats. So it's nice and neat. And then you also have um, integrated or uh, built-in speakers throughout the home. And needless to say, this is a smart home. The only difference is you're not going to see any panels anywhere here because you just need your mobile phone, your tablet, etc. to control the lights and what have you, the music, etc. And what else is integrated in here? Oh, right. Speaking of sound, the glass that you see here, so this one, for example, let's use this one. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's double glass, double glazed. Literally two sheets of glass, tempered glass, so that heat doesn't come in and it makes it soundproof. So even if all of this is glass, it remains cool and soundproof. How cool is that? Okay, so before we venture to that side, let's go here first. So in here, we have more of the soundproof glass. This is not double glazed, but it's still soundproof. When you open these, you are then led to the dining area. Now, I love how you have nada shelves in here. Okay, this is all nada. And you can put your decorative items in here. And you can open these up as well. So these are sliding um, panels. And then you have a glass balcony over here, if you can see, to let the air in. Now, if you'll notice, you can see your neighbor, right? By the way, your neighbor is very handsome as well. I mean, the house itself. And it also goes to the other side. So both of your neighbors have their swimming pool side facing you. And that's also the reason why the architecture was designed in such a way that when they look at your house from this side, it's gonna look nice. They're not gonna see any of the air conditioning, uh, outdoor units, etc. They're just gonna see your gorgeous house. And it's also gonna remain private via your screens, etc. And through things like this, from the outside, even if you didn't have your screen on, this is gonna look amazing. Speaking of amazing, you have here some wooden nara panels in, in a pattern. And when you, let's see, let's start with this one first. When you open this up, there you go. You can also open the middle portion if you want. It's up to you which one you want to move, but you can slide them all on one side or on this side, and it's gonna open to the kitchen. So when you're cooking in the kitchen, you know, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna go there now. <laughs> so when you're cooking in the kitchen or preparing food for your guests from your island counter or from the U-shaped counter or even washing dishes in front of your panoramic window, which is always so inspiring because again, you have a lovely neighbor. You can always serve your food here and give it to your guests seated at the dining area. Now, you also have a door leading from the dining to the kitchen, but you can also just go through here. Now, this is an extension of your kitchen, so or an extension of your dining. If you want to put a breakfast nook over here, sure, why not, right? But yeah, just to show you more of the kitchen, you have a lot of storage spaces, which again are made of nada, and then some matte um, dark gray laminates over there. It's just so spacious. 
it's because of the windows, because of the, well, really because of the windows and the actual space itself, because you have a lot of space to work with. Everything is built in, your sink, your stove, both induction and your actual gas range, your microwave, your oven, and your chiller. Of course, your refrigerator. Okay. So from here, you also have a door. So when it's closed, I mean, you can imagine it's just gonna look very seamless, right? But when you push on this, it will lead you to your daily, oh, sorry, correction, to your um, storage slash breaker room and to your daily kitchen. So it's plastic. Pa. <laughs> Again, it's about 95% done. Super brand new. So you have here an industrial grade daily kitchen with a stainless steel countertop. Isn't this just so nice? And even this has a nice view and you know lots of light coming in from in front of the sink. Everything here is, needless to say, high ceiling. Okay, when you go out here, you'll see here on the left side, we have a door that will lead to the back stairs. Yes, the main stairs is different. This is the back stairs. And then over here, you will be led back to your living areas or your, uh, yeah, well, yeah, your living areas. So living room, dining, kitchen, and uh, breakfast. Room. Okay, and then from here, might be, might be better to exit from this side. You can open all of these panels so that you can have direct access to the swimming pool for an indoor-outdoor thing since, yeah, you have this very tranquil, again, 14-meter swimming pool in your backyard. And it's just, don't you just want to take a dip in there? It's a nice lap pool. You have markers, you have guide markers on the ground so that Two of you can maybe practice laps every morning or something, stay healthy. You have fresh air, thanks to lots of the plants. Mm -hmm. And it's heated, right? It's heated. Actually, stay until the end of the video so that you see the top floor, because I think there's more surprises in store, speaking of heated. Yeah, just, right? Imagine that full of your choice furniture. This place is gonna look amazing, even more so. It's already amazing. Hasn't it? Okay, so you'll notice here that it's a dead end, right? So you can't, you don't really have access there, which is great. <laughs> because in here, you have the guest um, toilet and bath for the swimming pool. So you have your sink, your Japanese toilet, and then your shower area. So when you close this up, it's just a huge window. You can take a shower in nature. And then you can go out here and just sun dry if you want. But yeah. No one is going to have access to you from the swimming pool. So it's very private, well being, um, very nature, natural, <laughs> very um, outdoors. Okay. Oh, and also, I'm just going to show you this real quick. I don't know if you saw it earlier. So in here we have a deck, right? So these look these continue all the way down there and towards the living area and then up here you can appreciate the imported teak wood that they used for the slats over there now these have multiple purpose they prevent the heat from reaching into the second floor which you'll see later on they look great and they are weatherproof same as this deck right here but they are in different colors. <laughs> and finally, before we move on to a different level, do you see these? So these look like I-beams, right? And they are. These are solid steel I-beams made for high-rise buildings. So these aren't just um, aesthetic. It actually is structurally strong and it continues to the foundation. The foundation is steel, not concrete. So basically, the entire house is over, uh, what, what, what's that word? Not overbuilt. Um, over-engineered. Over-engineered, thank you very much. It's over-engineered for a two or three-story house. It was built like, as if it was for a high-story building. That's amazing. And of course, for aesthetic purposes, these, the panels themselves were also, or the frames, were also made to um, complement the I-beams. I just look at these. Look at See how it curves? I don't know if you can tell. 
So excuse the construction dust, but yeah, it's just. Akala ay mo ano lang siya, design lang siya, but it's actually an idea <laughs> done well. Okay, so that is it for the ground floor. Before we we head up the second, right, so let's open this. Ah, oh, sorry, I just noticed. This is a pocket sliding door. Another example of a perfect pocket sliding door. But this time it's in between two solid walls. Also here, you can see how thick it is. <laughs> it's exactly how thick these are. Okay, so over here, next to your main entrance, we have an elevator that goes from the basement all the way to the third floor. Okay, now here's the thing. I just wanted to point this out. So that elevator is actually just that. It's just a platform because that is machine-less. That's it. It's literally, it doesn't even come with a shaft. The, sh the shaft was built um, by the by the developer themselves. It wasn't pre-built for them. They actually made it um, so that it fits the entire architecture. So that's pretty unique. Okay, so we are not going to use the elevator. Instead, we're going to go down so that we can show you the basement. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, I do have an Instagram. It's at the Julia Richards. I'll see you on my Instagram. Okay, so if you'll notice, the stairs are gorgeous. Now, these are also um, teak. It's actually... It's a very special teak. It's more expensive than Nara, to be honest. But it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the texture and it's also weatherproof. Although we are indoors, so again, it's another thing that's over-engineered in this house. <laughs> okay, so here in the basement, you will see a door that leads to a storeroom. So it's the storeroom under the stairs. It, a lot of the construction material is there as well, so we're not going to open that anymore. And then the other door leads to your carport. Sorry, again, lots of construction materials. So you can fit two cars over here, two cars over there, another two cars over here. So it depends on how you slot your vehicles. But generally, you have a nine vehicle carport. Now, the thing about this basement is, you ship in a clearly. So you still have cold lighting, you have gorgeous landscaping, very lush foliage. So that's the driveway going down here. And then if you invited your guests over, just tell them to go down the driveway and go here and park wherever it is they want to park. And this is what they will see. Now, over there, hidden behind the louvers, is your generator. So you do have a generator included. Okay, so here in the basement, I love that it's still glass, right? Except this time, you're, we're using jealousy. Why again cross ventilation, which you will see more of more of later on. For now, let's go through here. Okay, so this is the back stairs that we saw earlier. We didn't go through there earlier, but we will later on. So again, more of the jealousy. So you open this, you open that. Then you see that little gate over there with the louver. That is gonna let the air in and flow through. And that's the reason why this entire house doesn't feel whatsoever. It's very... It's actually very uh, fresco. I think the most fresco airy. house. Airy. Thank you. It's the most airy house. So we've been to... The party hindi na yung mga aircon. So that's impressive. Okay, so here we have a hallway just for storage. So you would think, okay, this looks overkill. Why does it look so nice if it's in the basement and it's just storage? Well, again, your guests are going to come in here, park their cars, and because of all of the windows, they're going to see this. So why not make it nice, right? Just because it's a basement doesn't mean you have to let it go. So at the end here, we have the female staff quarters. So I think a lot of the, constru yeah, a lot of the construction materials are here for now. But you have your built-in wardrobe. Oh, thank you. Lots of space. This is just the room itself. Those sliding doors open up to, you can put plants in there and then above that, uh, those are grills. So air can also flow through in the uh, basement. And then over here you have your sink. 
This is a room dedicated for the water closet and then this is for the shower. That way, if you have two or three personnel in here, they wouldn't have to like, they can choose which one they need. Okay, and then again, another door that will lead you out the carport. But we're not done here. Love the cove lighting. Okay, so in here we have the another service kitchen and this is mostly for your staff. So it comes complete with an area for your laundry machine or washing machines, your sink, some prep, and then storage. And again, the louver door that we saw earlier. Now, I can look. Sorry, okay lang po, okay lang. Hindi kami lalabas. My bad. Okay, so we have some tanks over here. And speaking of tanks, we have uh, water or rain catchment and um, water pumps. So you have the water heater, etc. It's all here. It's all included. And of course, the rain catchment helps in um, conserving water. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that is it for the basement. We can go up here, but we can also go up there. No, let's go up there and use the elevator to go to the second floor. Right. That makes sense. Oh, I almost forgot about this one. This one is the male staff quarters. It also has an ensuite. Totally not. Okay, do not mind the sign. <laughs> for today, we can use the elevator. Okay, so while we're waiting for the elevator, I just want to show these. You also have um, jealousy windows over here with the net. That way, again, you can open these up so it's nice and airy. No. Ay, ito na pala. <laughs> Hindi ka Hindi ka na kasi. Okay, hi. Alright, so we are gonna go to the second floor. But I think we need to close the door. So I will see you there. Okay, I think we have to close this. Okay, here we go. This is the sleekest lift I've seen in a while. Maximum of five persons too. Okay, so obviously you can go around the shop because it's all glass and it's not hot because again you have double glazed windows and everything about the architecture of this house is just sustainably amazing. Okay, we made it to the second floor with a nice ding. <laughs> okay, so when you reach the second floor, you have two uh, doors here. So this solid, all of the doors, by the way, are solid nada. So this one leads to your security room. So it's a very sleek room that literally houses servers, etc., and your CCTV. So I thought no una bedroom because yung pinto niya very grand. <laughs> And then this is the one that leads to the bedrooms. But before we go there, I just wanted to show you this. Just a few steps down. All right, so here we have... Oh, I built my knees because again, 95% done. So here we have some glass panels, right? And if you'll notice, there's a cut here. It's actually not even. So, see that? That's because you have space over here and uh, basically a grate where air can come in. So water will just slide down, but air can go up. And again, that's for cross ventilation. And that's the reason why this entire house, even without an air conditioning, or even without air conditioning, remains very cool despite it having all of this glass. And naturally, cross ventilation requires um, several points or at least opposing points of access for an intake and outtake of air, right? So when you open this, and you open that glass door, right? So it's one hallway. That glass panel at the very end, that's not fixed. You can open that. So air can go in there and exit there or even the other way around. Come in there and exit through there. It's amazing. It's 
architecture at its finest. That's what designers do and think of. Also, speaking of design, you will not find any rooms facing the west. Okay, so right now we are in the family room. So this again are Nara slats. And then your flooring is also Nara in a more natural um, finish. I love that you can see and appreciate these two uh, Nara finishes and just they work, they look so well together. Okay, so this is obviously your entertainment room, your family room, etc. You can close it off. You can also close this off so that you can have a surround sound um, installation if you wanted to. Then over here with the double doors, we have the master bedroom. And this is the accent piece or where your headboard should be. Again, with more of the unpolished granite stones. So you have your king-sized bed over here facing your Nara Entertainment shelf. So you already have your um, slots here or your slits for your wiring to keep it neat. Lighting is already built in. And then you have access to something in the back from either side. So what is this? You could treat this as an office or basically your indoor-outdoor recreational area Perfect for yoga, for example, yoga, Pilates, exercising without, like imagine just living here, you in your exercise suit, you don't really want to be seen by anyone else. You don't need to leave your room. You can just go here, do your yoga. And if you're wondering, but there's so much glass. Well, here's the thing. You see the wooden slats here, the teak that we saw from the outside. So because of that, although you can see out, people are going to have a hard time looking in, whether it's daytime or nighttime. So that acts as a barrier from the sun and also from prying eyes. So you do not need to worry about that. So it's on this side and on this side. And you can open these up to let the air in. But again, vision is obscured, so they cannot see you. And speaking of glass, the ceiling is also glass. It's gorgeous during the rainy season and at night. Now during the summer, of course, if you love the sun, then it's also gorgeous. It's also nice that you can see some of your landscaping as well from the third floor. Okay, now in here... Wait, this was open earlier. Who keeps closing the doors? <laughs> okay, so now in here you have your balcony. And your balcony is still very private. And um, enclosed. <laughs> so you're not gonna get rained on at least, right? And then you can open these up so all of these panels can be opened up if you want that. But if you want the privacy, then just keep it closed. It's still gonna let all of the air through. Then at the end here, we have a glass railing <laughs> that lets you see your lap pool as well as the other bedrooms, balcony, and a bit of your landscaping on the higher floor. Okay, so let's come in through here. Hopefully, okay, we will lock it. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the master bedroom, and it's now time to check out the master toilet and bath. So in here we have the walk-in closet. We have a lot of space. Okay, you have two island counters, presumably his and hers. I mean, it's up to you really what you want to do with it. You have smoked glass, temporary glass for your doors. Some of them are open like this one. Over there you have open shelving. And then this is your vanity. I love that the huge window is frosted for privacy. And it, like, just imagine putting a mirror here. Because natural light. So doing your makeup or just generally fixing your face is going to be a treat thanks to this huge window. And then where is the answer we told him about? Behind the double doors. And look at that. This piece of gorgeous um, fixture is a heated 
bathtub. So that is the tank over there. It's hidden, hidden underneath the slats and the slats continue to the podium. So it just gives this really nice focal point the moment you open your double doors, right? And then of course you can proceed to look at the rest of your toilet and bath. So you have his and hers. You have an enclosed shower space, a sink, and an enclosed uh, water closet. And it's the same for the other. Enclosed water closet, sink, enclosed shower space. Literal na his and hers. Okay. Okay, so you have outlets everywhere, including the island counter, so that's nice. And then your light switches, by the way, are very low. It's, this is about 0.70 hip level, so it's about 0 0.70, 0 0.80 off the ground. Nice and low, nice and accessible. Okay, and then we're back to the family area. We can now proceed to the rest of the hallway. When we open this one, again, another pocket sliding door. Oh, oh wow, that's so satisfying. Okay, so again, you have this nada going on just for, you know, effect. We have these nooks or niche um, areas for just for lighting. And then the rest is just sleek design with the doors and the eggshell matte or rather matte white paint okay so here we have bedroom number two we're going to count the master bedroom as bedroom number one so bedroom number two you have here your nano slats again presumably this is where you want to put your headboard you have your built-in desk and entertainment shelf again nada you have your wardrobe space here with a linen like um, laminate then you have your ensuite, toilet and bath. Okay, so you have your sink, your water closet, Japanese toilet by the way, and your partially enclosed shower space, and your frost, a huge frosted awning window. And then you have this fabric-like almost. It's fabric-like and stone-like at the same time in a herringbone pattern in black. I love it. So I, take, I took notice of this because the rest of the toilets do not have the same tiles. They're all unique. Okay, oh, also from the bedrooms to the hallway, it's just this continuous Nara planks. So it's very, it makes the space feel more fluid and more spacious. Okay, over here we have bedroom number three. So again, in this huge space, you have pin light, you have cold lighting, you have diffused white all over, which naturally gives this diffused effect, a very bright and airy one. You can open these if you want more air. And then over here, you have your built-in wardrobe, and then your ensuite, toilet and bath. Again, with your sink, Japanese solid, partially enclosed shower space, and your huge awning, frosted, window and this time they have a honeycomb pattern or tiles in gray matte gray cement like but of course it's, it's tiles and then across that one we have bedroom number four so this was fondly called the girls room it can be called the junior master suite it's a two but we're gonna call it bedroom number four so you have this much space you have an accent wall, again, with the nada slats in diagonal. Actually, you mentioned it's like a hairy bone shot, but it's so... I love the scale, you won't see it again again until you really stare at it. You have two awning windows. Yes, those are awning windows. They open that way. On either side of your bed, your wardrobe and your shelf, desk and the entertainment shelves already built in. And a sliding door. Similar to the master bedroom, that leads to your balcony. Now, this balcony is very safe. Walang biglang makakapasok dito and vice versa. But you can still open these if you want it to be well, more open. But if you want it to, as private as it is, then that's fine. So you can have some seating here, some outdoor bean bags, outdoor chairs. Just hang out and you still have a view of your um, landscaping from the third floor. As well as your parents' who's a balcony and swimming pool. 
the wardrobe is different compared to the other bedrooms too. So that one has a smoke glass uh, panel, and then this is the ensuite. So you have your sink, your Japanese toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space. The accent here is this. You have stone-like um, tiles that's made to look like bricks. You know that everything. You know what? This house is very industrial. I just realized, and that's the reason why I think I like it so much. It's industrial. It's modern. But it's not gruff. It's very neat and it's smartly designed. This is what I was talking about. This looks like a fixed window, right? It's not. It's actually a pocket sliding door. But uh, push. Oh man, I don't. Oh, there we go. Mahina lang pala ako. So the, this is also another pocket sliding door, and you have this glass over oh. here. So when this is open and the rest of the windows at the front of the house are open, cross ventilation, mas malamig pa. Apart from the fact na high ceiling na, diba? all of the design elements are. Um... Hi, there's a cat. Sorry. <laughs> all of the design elements has worked together to create this really airy, industrial, modern home. Okay, so let's close this again. Soft tug. And here we are at the back. Stairs. So since you already saw what it was like to climb up the main stairs, let's go up here. So I love that they didn't opt to just have one set of stairs. They actually have two and both of them are decent. Now in all of the floors, from the basement all the way here, you're gonna find this in the back stairs. These are actually storage. So they're not just design um, cues, they're functional. So some of them can hold other pipes, some of them are empty like this one. It's a surprise, it's up to you to find out <laughs> which ones you can use for what kind of storage. Okay, so here on the third floor, everything else continues. You have your awning windows over here for your cross ventilation. It's, it's a given. And here, this entire floor is kind of considered as a flat, like a guest flat or bachelor. Flat. So in here we have what looks like a library and to be frank it is a library obviously you have all of these shelves right you can oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's so satisfying. You, can, you can hide a TV in there okay so you can turn this into a game room as well this can fit a full-sized pool table if you wanted to so Again, up to you. It could be a theater, a game room, a library, a lounge, gentleman's lounge. That would be really cool. So it's a very versatile room. Again, you have the windows, etc., the high ceiling, the nada slats for your design or ceiling element. And then across this, we have three doors. So this one is the is it open. Okay, it was closed earlier. So this one is the steam room. All right, here you go. So you can turn on the steam for the entire room. Like a sauna, basically. <laughs> so you have your sauna with the Japanese toilet, the sink, and a partially enclosed shower space. This is storage. Well, actually, it's the pumps. It could be a, you could add more storage, but the pumps, etc., heater for the for the secret that's coming up next. I'm sorry, I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> and then here is bedroom number five. So again, you have an ensuite in here with your sink, your Japanese toilet, and your partially enclosed shower space, and then the room itself. Now this is the brightest room probably because it's at the top floor. Oh yeah, you again have the Nara slats. This is ideally where you want to put your headboard to face that. It's really bright, probably because it's the sky itself. But you still have a gorgeous view of the trees and you have a balcony and you have a view of the rest of the floor, which has a heated jacuzzi as well and a roof deck. So that's what the pumps are for. Pretty cool, right? They were able to hide it very uh, practically. Okay, 
And then the rest of the floor over here. And this area is basically another living area. So you have a kitchen, an island counter over here where you can put stools for a bar, and then a dining and sofa set. And that at the end with the slats again, hides your AC units as well as additional storage. So basically the entire third floor is your guest floor, isn't it? You can even program, or actually this elevator has already been programmed, or at least they tried to, to go only from the basement straight to this floor. And it's not going to go to the, to the ground or the second floor where the actual family stays. So that's pretty, that's pretty neat. So when you have your guests over, just tell them, oh, park in the basement, take the elevator going up. It's only going to take you here anyways. And everyone else can stay here in this guest floor which again has a roof deck so they can hang out in the game room they have a guest bedroom that you saw earlier massive roof deck you can put some seating in here just hang out or if they want they can go dip themselves in the heated jacuzzi or in the sauna so this is definitely one of the best and modern industrial houses that i've seen Probably so far. And this is in Ayala Alabang village. Okay, time for a recap. Okay, so you have three levels and a basement. 1,500 square meters of floor area and 784 square meters of lot area. Five ensuite bedrooms and a nine vehicle car port. Now, the thing I love about this house, okay, apart from the fact that it's a smart home, and the fact that it comes with a generator, it's um, rain catchment, water pumps, heaters, etc., the works, okay, and high end everything, okay, apart from that, which is already very, very impressive to begin with. I love the way it was designed. The architect and the interior designer, they really did a good job with this one because it just brings out the lushness of the landscaping. It, it utilizes all of the natural light properly without the heat, thanks to all of the double glaze, thanks to the cross ventilation and the way it was designed. Again, none of the rooms face the west and it's just impressive. Okay, the finest surfaces, the finest materials in this minimalist industrial take that's very elegant, actually. That is how I would describe this house. It's very elegant. So if, oh, by the way, it does come fully furnished. So you saw it bare, and as it is, it's already impressive, but it also comes with the furniture. Okay. And of course, all of the AC units, including the ducted ones. So if you or anyone you know wants to see this place for yourself, send this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself and you really, really should, again, it's in Ayala Alabang Village, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.